Hello everybody. Uh, this video is going to be me giving my opinion about Girls Next Level Podcast, Holly Madison, and Bridget Marquardt. So if you're not interested, deuces, take care. Okay, so for those of you who are, let me just say that I am grateful to those people that are not stands, and I'm like such a fan of the Girls Next Door show. My favorite girl next door was Bridget. I guess if I had to pick a number two, it would have been Holly, maybe, but that's really pushing it. I didn't, I, <laughs> I felt like Holly came across as mean and just like vacant inside. Um, like someone just, I don't know how to explain it. It seemed like the only reality came out in her deal, dealing with Hef or something, or the only kindness really came out in, with her uh, dealing with Hef. She came across as someone who, you know, kind of stole things from Bridget in terms of like, oh, Bridget is this way, so I'm going to be this way too. I'm going to get in on this too, as opposed to it just being a natural part of her personality. It came across as just something she was doing, you know, uh, to uh, be similar to Bridget or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, why I'm mentioning this is uh, she had her own YouTube channel, which I think was awesome. Her YouTube channel to me made her feel so much more authentic and she seemed like a nicer, more healed person before she started reviewing the Girls Next Door show. And I was still like hooked on her like behind the scenes information about the show. Like she would say, oh yeah, well, you know, Kevin did this or, or a Kendra actually, which she would try to refrain from using Kendra's name. Like, you know, it was Voldemort or something. But, and, and if you know the history, which I was team Holly 100%, but if you know the history, Kendra said some really horrible stuff about Holly. I understand that. But ma'am, how long are you going to hold on to this grudge? Like, it's old now. Like, it's very, very old. Like, your kid, your last kid wasn't even born yet when Kendra said those horrific things to you. And she did. And she was wrong. I 100% agree. But come on, like, move on. It's been almost 10 years ago that Kendra said that stuff. Um, and I don't mind someone defending themselves, but she's very clearly got this vendetta against Kendra, which to me solidifies why Kendra never really cared about Holly like that. Like I can see it because you're so mean spirited and it just won't stop. It's like at some point somebody needs to be in the, the adult and it would help if it was the person who's you know, perimenopausal. Like it would help if that person was the one to be the grown up in the situation compared to someone who is uh, how many years younger? Like, damn, you know, what, like a good six ish years or so younger, six or seven years younger, like grow up, you know? Um, and what's funny is Holly's line, I was gonna look it up on my phone, but you know, I, I won't bother. But what she said was something about like hinting that Kendra needs to seek therapy because of how upset she got at Holly just expressing her experience. I 100% agreed with Holly and I thought that was masterful. I'm like, you uh, snatched her wig and at the same time, you know, you did it in a very classy way. And I don't know, I just felt like her her rebuttal was beautiful. And then she's messed it up since then because she's been so like petty and childish and mean spirited. And if you can't hear it, the best I can tell you is go back and listen to the old episodes, which I have. And I, uh, I'm talking about the old episodes on the podcast. The podcast to me has been way meaner than when she was doing it sitting uh, in her bedroom, you know, uh, in the old days. Because I used to actually watch, she would do like premieres and it do the countdown and everything. And I would sit there and watch, you know, me and other people in the live chat rooms. And I didn't have any beef against Holly. Like I, Holly's personality was never 
on the level of a Bridget in terms of being kind and warm and welcoming, but I started to like her more as a person through her book and through her YouTube channel, but she just unraveled. And it's just gotten meaner and meaner and meaner. And it's very clear she's always had a beef with Crystal Hefner. It's so in your face. And I don't know how she can even deny it. And the whole thing of Crystal bullying Bridget. Now, mind you, I'm a Bridget girl. Love Bridget. In fact, fun fact, I probably shouldn't put this on the internet, but I'm going to. Um, I actually gave my daughter Bridget's uh, name. <laughs> So yeah, fun fact, uh, my daughter has Bridget's name as one of her middle names. So, you know, that's how much of a fan I am. Um, but uh, I do not feel that Crystal bullied her. If anything, I feel like it was the other way around. Um, Bridget was upset that she couldn't visit Hef at a certain point, um, that I think she didn't get an invite to the funeral. Um, you know, and Crystal, the meanest thing that Crystal said that I think was extremely honest, and this is after, mind you, people who are fans of Bridget, and Bridget is one of those like very sympathetic characters that everybody's like, no, I've literally heard people say, oh, to talk about Bridget is like kicking a puppy. No, it's not. It is not. I like Bridget very much and it's not like the kicking a puppy. Let's stop that. But that being said, the meanest thing that she said, and I think she was telling the truth and I don't even think it was cruel. She said that Hef didn't talk about Bridget. I believe her. I 100% believe her. Even on the show, it felt like Bridget was a distant third of the three girlfriends to Hef, okay? Um, they say that Hef had this thing with ageism. Ironically, even though he was pretty much old enough to be Bridget's grandfather, he was ageist. And, you know, they also say that Bridget was kind of there on a wing and a prayer compared to some of his previous girlfriends, you know? And I, I'm sorry, am I being a bully? I don't think so. I think that that was the way it came across, uh, you know, it never felt like there was a real connection between the, the sweetest moment that I felt between those two off the top of my head was when Bridget was upset about not being featured as much as Kendra and Holly um, in that Just Shoot Me episode, I think, the one where she had to go and do her test in the first season. And he seemed, you know, kind about it, like, oh, you know, we'll fix it, honey. It's not too hard to do or whatever. But in general, he didn't seem like he was that attached to Bridget. I'm just being honest. Kendra, as Holly herself has stated, Kendra was his golden girl. And Holly, I believe, endeared herself to Hef. I think Holly was also not a preference for Hef. And this is based off of how she describes it herself. I'm not just like being mean. Um, but I think she endeared herself to him by mimicking, and you cannot convince me that she just had all this stuff in common with someone who was that much older than her. I'm not gonna believe it, so let's not do that, Holly. Um, but anyway, uh, you may have liked a little Marilyn Monroe. Hey, who doesn't? I do too. But I don't believe that you were on his level. I believe that you mimicked his behavior. I want to do more videos on this. But long story short, Holly has gotten really cruel. Um, she's at the point where she's bullying Crystal. is very obvious, allegedly. But to the extent where Crystal has sent her a cease and desist. Um, and she's like throwing it in Crystal's face about like, oh, I thought you were for free speech. Nobody thinks that bullying is okay, especially if they're on the receiving end of it. Who thinks that that's okay? So she didn't know how else to express herself. Now, personally, do I think the cease and desist is great? Mm, I, I, I've heard bad things about cease and desist that they're not really that great. So, mm. but I think that she felt kind of helpless because these women would not stop. It was just relentless. So if this is what it takes to get them off her back, I'm here for it. Anyway, I definitely want to do more videos on this. So please stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Bye.